So we have our bark box. We've never done this before. I've always heard about it. I've always wanted to do it for my dogs, but it's something that's, you know, it's it costs money, you know, this is not free or anything like that. But I've also never known if he is begging to be allowed to get into this box. I never got it just because I feel like it used to be more expensive and I wasn't sure if the toy quality was really as what is what it is now or what it was what it is now. So anyways, we're at a point where we definitely wanted to start investing in it and seeing what it was all about. I believe it's 20 to $25 a month for this particular box and I think we're doing it for six months to really give it a, a shot. Now we did get the extra dog toy as well, so we'll see what that's all about. Now there's a couple things that when I first saw this at the door, I was kind of like, are you really? This is the box that like this size box is what we got for the medium sized dog. It, I was just like, that's too small. I've seen them on social media all the time. These are, they're usually a pretty decent sized box. I mean, it was the, we picked the middle just because we don't really have a medium dog. We have basically large and then Dexter. He does not care what size toy he has and he will still destroy it. So we thought we would do like the happy medium and do the medium size. Now this is supposed to be for dogs that are 20 to 50 pounds. It's, this is like, this is smaller than Dexter. He's 22 pounds, what's he? I mean, I don't know. The other thing that I, we were a little disappointed to see is that this came like this. This was open. I don't know if they just couldn't afford to do more tape all the way around maybe for our toys not to fall out, but definitely I'm glad they did not, but this was open. So I'm gonna go ahead and let Dexter see what's inside. We'll figure it out from there and see what he thinks. He is our, he is what I call our toy master. So we'll let him be the judge of the bark box for today. His very first bark box and he's already bored. I think he's a little offended by the size of this box as well. Just saying, bark box. Are you ready? Bark box versus Dexter, huh? Looks like a space theme. Uh, that's that's something I didn't really notice. Okay. So the first thing is not even a toy. Get it. Get it. Get it. So now that Dexter has the first toy out, we'll let him work on that. Seems, looks like a weird spaceship. That's what, so let's kind of go over what's maybe, what else is in here. Oh, that's Graham wanting to know what's going on. Hang on now. Okay. 
So I know they brought, they do treats as well, so I want to look at the treats. It looks like we have two bags of treats. So we also have what looks like a pig's ear that was cut in half for my 50 pound dog. I almost wouldn't even give this to Dexter as far as size goes. Anyways, we'll let the young ones deal with this. Hang on, hang on. Now we have Grim involved, I don't know why, but here we go, have a toy. So I have this little tiny pig ear. It's, that's a choking hazard if you've ever seen one. So there's that. I don't know if we'll give that to any of the dogs. We've got a couple of toys, it looks like three. And they're, again, for 20 to 50 pound dogs, you've got, I mean, this is barely the perfect size for Grim and he's gonna, and Dexter's going to destroy it anyways. We've got this little meteor thing. I do like the space theme, that was cool. So we've got this. This to me is like a freaking cat toy. <laughs> no offense to kitty. Then we have our third toy right here is a teeny tiny little rubber ball with a hole in it. And it looks like I could probably stick a treat in there, which is cool, but it's so small. Grim looks like he could swallow it, try to swallow it. Oh, if he thought there was a food in there. So I don't know about all that. So now I have these Astro, Astro Bacon. These are treats. Bacon, oatmeal, brown rice, pearled barley, molasses, vegetable, glycerin. So, I mean, I'll, I'll, my dogs like anything, so. This thing's cool enough. Oh gosh, they're not as soft as I thought at all. Okay, well, he likes them. But, oh, maybe he doesn't like them. <laughs> it's taking him a second to eat it. Dexter, are you gonna get on this treat action? Oh Lord. Wait, can you, hang on, with the big eyes, jeez. Okay, so this one's really, okay, uh-uh, plots. Yes, see, always training, and uh-uh. These actually say many trainers. So when training a dog, you want something that they can eat very fast as a reward, if you're using a food reward. Sometimes kibble, if it's small enough and they're excited about it. Usually it's a stinky treat or some people use pieces of hot dog and you don't even use like, a, I mean you cut a piece of hot dog into fourths, like a slice of hot dog. This, I even take my tiny, okay, uh-uh, plots. Oh look, he doesn't even know plots and Dexter like pull it down. I usually take my soft treats and cu even cut those even smaller and they're already pretty small. This, hang on, wait. Dexter doesn't have impulse control. We kind of like his impulsive pers personality. Wait, can I talk about it first? So here I've got training, Dexter. So here I've got training treats. Okay, that stop. Um, these are hard as a rock, okay? And also, they're big pieces, they're big chunks. So let's see. Oh God, I can't even try. No, he think he swallowed that whole, oh gosh. I don't like that he swallowed, he likes these too much. Crumbs Naturals, I don't know. I do like that they're salmon snaps. Um, I don't know which ones are extra toy, I don't know, there's one of the three, I guess. It doesn't really say. Um, this is really cool, I mean, they're just going to, they're just going to destroy these toys and Dexter now has all three. <laughs> oh, here we go. Grim's a, Grim's a brave boy. Anyways. As you can see, this is the bark box for the 20 to 50 pound dog. Dexter is 22 pounds of pure love. And um, he, these toys will be gone in, in about an hour. They'll be completely, they'll be in the trash. But they're, they're actually nice. They're not like, I've seen cheaper toys. They're, they're actually nice quality. Oh, there's a big dog. Nice quality of toy. I like that big, that rubber toy will probably chill for a little while. That'll be probably Dexter's toy just because of how small it is. But here, for Grim, I wouldn't want to give him that either. Now, People are probably wondering, like, where's the big dogs? Where's the big dogs? Well, don't worry, they're here. They're 
and their little, this is our dog den that, you know, we haven't really shown yet. I'd like to show more of it in an actual video that's for that. These, the old guys are not that toy driven, so these, I mean, the, the bark box is for the young kids. But they will definitely re receive some of the treats that we get, so. I think we're pretty happy with the bark box for now. It's a little, it was a little, there, it definitely got some disappoint, had some disappointments to it. We, um, obviously we'll keep it going for now. I don't know who's gonna get this. Probably Dexter for like a minute before he tries to swallow it. And then, um, but I'm pretty happy about it. Not, it wasn't super expensive. It okay, you have a toy, so get up there and eat and use it. What I might actually do though is see if I can change the size to be for large dogs instead of the medium size box just to see if maybe we get some more, just some bigger, funner toys for the dogs. Dexter doesn't mind how big the toys are, of course, because he's going to destroy them in a day regardless. So, but this is kind of fun for the dogs to get a package and just have some random toys delivered here. It was good for me too, I guess. I don't know. That's convenient. I'm down. So we'll kind of see how this goes. We're in the extra toy club, so that's fun. Are you done? Here. Can I have that? Oh, can you train with it? Sits. Yes. Plots. Yes. Sits. Good boy. Hey, Grim. Wait. Hey, bots. Thanks. Stay. <laughs> yeah, kind of. These are kind of tough for, um, these are kind of tough for training as far as, I mean, it's treats. I don't think you need to put this word on here. These are not little trainers at all. These are crunchy, hard, break your teeth type foods. They're harder than their kibble. All right, so that's it for our first Bark Box. I think it was a success. So I'm excited to see how Dexter likes next month. All right, if you like this video, please uh, make sure you subscribe, like, give it a thumbs up, and even comment. I'd love to hear anybody else's experiences with bark boxes as well, or if there is another different like mailing program for the dogs that they like better. We're always looking. All right, bye guys.